More than 10,000 calls every year. That's how many times Austin police respond to people experiencing a mental health crisis. Yesterday, Austin City Council approved spending more than $1 million in the city's budget to handle those calls. KXAN's Eugene Cho found out what's changing. When you call 911, instead of just asking, Is it fire? Is it EMS? Is it law enforcement? Soon, they'll also be able to ask if you need mental health help. Integral Care responds to mental health calls with police and EMS. For them, this additional funding means for the first time, they'll be able to have four clinicians at the 911 call center. It's just about meeting that person first and not having to go through layers of people which delays a response and getting the, the treatment started immediately. Don Hantley says with the new budget, they'll also hire people who can answer video calls from crisis intervention officers. That means the person needing the help won't have to wait for a trained counselor to get there. We don't have lights and sirens, uh, so it takes us a little bit longer uh, to get there. The budget also enables EMS to expand its staffing. We respond to, to many, many of these calls every day. Uh, in fact, probably every hour. Their community health paramedics are trained to respond to mental health calls. Their staff will go from 11 to 18. They need somebody who knows how to assess them, who knows how to talk to them, who knows how to find out about their medical history, and knows how to activate the care that they need. The quicker you get um, the right level of care to people in need, the better the results. In Austin, Eugene Cho, KXAN News. Just two weeks ago, we told you about a man who is suing Austin police or the way its officers handle a welfare check. Jim Templeton told us he fears for people's well-being when they call 911 for mental health help. He says he had to wait for two hours for a mental health officer to arrive, and even though he told the responding officers he was, was not going to harm himself, he did say they violently detained him and sent him to a treatment facility. The city told us they were familiar with the incident and that they are prepared to defend the police officers. Central Health is hosting a couple of public hearings before homeowners' property taxes go up. The group provides health care to underserved communities in Travis County. Their proposed budget of more than $290 million is largely funded by Travis County property taxes. They say the average homeowner will pay about $2 more per month with this new rate. Central Health says these hearings are a way to hear from the community. It's important to get people's perspectives, not only just in terms of uh, what the total dollars are being spent, but how they're being spent in, in Travis County. The second public hearing will be next week. After that hearing, the budget and tax rate is approved by a board of managers and ultimately Travis County Commissioners.